Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal and welcome to your latest Arsenal transfer news. Today we are going to be talking about the usual Milinkovic Savic, not the usual, it's just been linked to us a couple of days ago, but Milinkovic Savic and the latest on the likes of Tillemans. What happens to Rhys Nelson is being in the news today as well. And will we end up getting Lissandro Martinez? But first, let's start with uh, Milinkovic Savic. There's been talk that Arsenal are about to launch a second bid after the first bid was rejected. So yesterday, there was talk of us offering 55 million euros. And um, that was 47 million pounds. But unfortunately, Lazio won 60 million pounds for him. Rightly so. Remember, we go, went through his stats yesterday. And these are his stats just for a reminder. Someone who played 37 games, he had 11 goals, 11 assists. He's very good attacking, as, as you can see, the final passes in the, in the final third. Um, defensively as well, duels, won, tackles, made is an overall player who can play any of those three positions for us in midfield. So that is why they want that kind of money. So will Arsenal actually make that bid? Now, from the news today, this is what um, the, the same um, at the same. Um, Journalists that say the same journalists or the same um, organization from Italy that reported the same news on Milinkovic Savic has uh, actually reported today that Arsenal have had a first offer of 55 million for Milinkovic Savic rejected by Lazio, um, but a second offer could be on its way. Arsenal could go up to 65 million euros, a figure Lazio would deem appropriate for the Serbian. Sabian's fair. Well, now some of you would say, How comes you haven't heard this from the, the likes of Fabrizio Romano and those guys? But remember Fabio Vieira? Fabio Vieira was just signed from now without anyone knowing what was going on. So I would not be surprised if the Italians have, since they're in Italy and everything and following the Italian clubs, I'd not be surprised if this was actually happening in the likes of, um, the, even though Fabrizio is from Italy, I wouldn't be surprised like if they don't know like what is going on behind the scenes with every single transfer. They would know 90%, but maybe the 10% that they don't know, one of them is this guy, Milinkovic Savic. So Fabio Vera, remember, he came in from nowhere without anyone ever talking about him. And um, the other thing is 70, um, 70, 60 million, sorry, 60 million pounds seems like a lot of money. That this, but as I said yesterday, this is the kind of guy that would totally change our midfield playing in all those three positions, helping us attacking-wise, defensive-wise, I'd actually definitely pay that money for him. Um, 55 million, I would have expected them to definitely uh, reject it. Um, 65 million, yesterday we talked about giving them 55 million plus maybe a Torreira who's played in that league before for Fiorentina, for Sampdoria, that would have been, that, that would have definitely made sense because Torreira doesn't really want to be at Arsenal and I don't think we'll really miss him if Torreira leaves and not been here for the last two years. So that seems like a good idea. And he'll probably want to play for Lazio and Lazio will probably do with him in the team. But I don't think that will happen. Maybe we'll end up selling him to another uh, different team. But that is the latest on Milinkovic Savic. A second bid seems to be coming according to the reports in Italy of around 65 million euros. Yesterday we talked about Tillemans. Does that mean we are not going to get Tillemans? I, I really have no idea. The report still suggests that Arsenal agreed personal terms with Tillemans with his agent. He wants to play for Arsenal. Basically, yesterday they said that Tillemans mentally, in his head, he's already an Arsenal player. That is what was reported yesterday, that in his head, he knows he's an Arsenal player. But in terms of registration in the Premier League and for Arsenal, he's not yet an Arsenal player. 25 to 30 million pounds would still be going for him, but that story is ongoing. Hopefully we do get it sorted out this month sometime, hopefully, because this would be a very good deal. If, as yesterday, as I said yesterday, this would be the two guys that go for Tillemans and Milinkovic Savic, that money we are supposed to pay Rafinha and Nabri. These are the two guys that definitely get. Uh, what about Martinez? There's been talk about Arsenal making a fourth bid for him because my net are about to match or they already matched our 45 mil million euro bid for him. And uh, if, we, if we stick with the same um, fee and the same figure and United do the same, he might end up choosing. I actually actually asked him to choose a team and he probably chose Manchester United because of his former manager. If that, he did get along. We don't know about that, but he'll probably choose his former manager. Now, the only way we can beat, uh, we can actually get his signature is if we beat Man United in terms of what we are going to pay Ajax. That is another thing. And we say this guy is very good. He can play as a left back. He can play as a uh, centre back. He can play in central midfield. He can literally help us in every single position this would be the guy that would definitely pay that kind of money for um 45 million euros wouldn't be enough but enough but if we go to 50 million euros or 55 that will probably be enough for them they didn't want to sell both him and timber so 
they are, it looks like they're going to sell this guy. And I'm really hoping we don't lose this one to Man United. This is a very quality player. As I said in the live stream the other day, they said since uh, he's very short, he's very, um, he, he does not lose the ball in, whenever the opposition teams press because he's very comfortable on the ball. So he can pass the ball from the back. Things you love to hear. He can play in several positions. He can definitely help us. He can, we can do better with him than not having him in the team. So you rather have him than not have him in the team. He would definitely help. So that's the latest on Lissandro Martinez. But what about the players who are about to go out? Do you remember I said I do expect like maybe even 15 players to leave this, um, even this month, even before August, or maybe August, maybe some of them will leave at the end of August when the season has already started. But even before August, just, just this month, I expect at least six players to leave. Like we have Bellerin there, we have Nile still, we have uh, Rob Holding, we have the likes of Tavares, who could go out on loan. We don't know about Nokonga, we don't know about Jaka's situation. What about Pepe? And what about this guy called Rhys Nelson, who was on loan at final last season? Did very well for them. According to reports today, Nelson is in the market to be sold. So this is what the reports had to say. Uh, Charles Watts, a very credible Arsenal journalist. Arsenal will look to sell Rhys Nelson this summer. Not loan, sell him. Final a king. So that is according to Charles Watts. And uh, for me, if it's selling him, I'll definitely be happy with that because I can't really see where he fits in at Arsenal, to be honest. Um, on the right side at the moment, just the squad we have right now, we have Pepe, we have Marquinhos, we have Saka. On the left, you have Martinez, you have Smith Rowe. As the number 10s, we have Fabio Vieira, we have Odegaard. Up front, you have Mkete, you have um, Jesus. And that is just without um, buying any more players that we expect him to come in. We've been linked to a couple of wingers this summer, Rafinha, Nabri, Noah Lang will be linked to a couple of forwards as well. We're expecting another forward to come in. So I can't really see where he fits in at Arsenal. He did very well for final last season, so it would make sense if he actually goes there and we get a fee for him. Um, I, yes, he's still young. He can definitely improve. He did well, well for final, but as I say, he, doesn't, he just doesn't fit in at Arsenal. If we have a first-team squad playing in the Premier League and another team playing in the Europa League in Carabao Cup, there's still no space for him to play. So... For me, if we can get a figure of around, I don't know how much you can get. How much do you guys think we can get for Reese Nelson? If you can get something like 15 to 20 million, I'd definitely sell. I know other teams are able to get way more money for their youngsters and players who've been out loan, on loan, like Chelsea and Breuer. They can be able to get like 30 million for him. Reese Nelson, if you can get 20 million, I'd definitely sell him. Let's just move on. He's been here. Him, Katie, and Niles, it feels like they've been here for around six to seven years. It's not like the likes of Saka and Martinelli who came way after them. These guys have been here for way too long. And Chris Nelson have been in a couple of loan spells. They had one at Offenheim as well. And he came in, was on the bench again. He even played in the under-23s team last season. So I don't think Atte is his biggest fan. And I just don't see where he fits in at Arsenal. So for me, I'd definitely sell him. So that is the update on Nelson. It's not just him. I'm expecting a lot of players to leave this um, July in itself. I'm expecting a lot of players to leave all those players I mentioned. And there are some others that could even come out as a surprise. Maybe a couple of um, loan spells, um, the defenders. Maybe Cedric could end up leaving on loan. Remember Leno in goal, like all those players could end up leaving. So if they end up leaving, how will Arsenal line up next season? So in case you haven't watched my video talking about how Arsenal could line up next season, Click on the video on screen right now. Thank you for watching and I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.